All right, guys, welcome back to the channel, Hill Creek Outdoors. Got another video for you today on the Bad Boy Rogue with a 72-inch deck. Um, if you've seen the video last week where we did a review on how well it cuts, things of that nature, well, let me tell you something. That video, it didn't do so hot, right? It wasn't cutting very well. Um, it was leaving quite a bit of things up as we went through. Um, there was the, I mean, the grass was probably about a foot tall, 10 inches to a foot tall. It wasn't wet, but it was a little bit tall. But at the same time, you would think the bad boy commercial grade mower would mow through that. No issues, right? Well, we had a couple issues going on with it that I finally found out after doing some research and I wanted to bring those to you today, right? So before you cut with this, there's quite a few things that you want to do. And this video is just going to be us talking about it, and then we'll show you the cut quality. We just got done, and we went over this one time, right? One time. I mean, you can see the stripes behind us. We'll show you that here in a minute, but let me cover these things that you need to make sure that you do prior to cutting every time, right? Uh, they're, they're definitely vital. First thing is, right? You want to make sure that all of your tires are pumped up to the proper PSI. For the bad boy Rogue, that is 12 PSI in both rears, okay? Um, we didn't have any issues with that. The tires were pumped up to the appropriate PSIs when we did it last week, but um, we did check that, okay? Next thing you want to check for is always going to be your belt tension. Okay, if you don't have one of those belt tensioning tools, um, you can purchase them on Amazon. They are kind of pricey. Or if you know somebody who has one, make sure that you check the tension of your belt. Okay, that's one thing that's going to definitely hinder you from cutting properly. If it's not tight enough or too tight, you're going to have qu cut quality issues because your blades aren't going to be spinning. Um, it might even sound like it's bogging down. Um, so make sure you get your belt tension properly adjusted. And everything for doing that is in the owner's manual to where you can do it fairly quickly. We did have some issues with how tight um, our belt was, so we had to adjust it. it. It was actually not tight enough, right? So it didn't have enough tension on it, and our blades weren't fully uh, spinning the proper way. Okay, and that's probably why it wasn't cutting grass. Or one reason um, there was a couple of reasons so we'll cover the rest of them here but make sure your belt is tight to the proper tension okay you have very easy access to that stuff all you gotta do is remove this here lift that up you can reach it there a um, couple bolts you tighten or loosen whatever the case may be and um, there are two belts on the bad boy rogue just so you are aware okay all right, so moving on to the third thing that you need to make sure is are your blades sharp, right? Do they have dings? Do they have nicks from where you might have hit rocks or, or hit a stick or something like that? Make sure your blades are sharp. Um, ours, they were fairly dinged up a little bit maybe. I mean, they weren't terrible. Probably could use a new set or sharpening, but... They weren't so terrible to where I thought I had to replace them or uh, fix them at the time. So we cut with the old ones. Once again, they did have a couple little dings, but they weren't too bad. All right. But make sure your blades are sharp. If everything else is done and it's still cutting bad, it's probably your blades aren't sharp enough. All right. There's proper ways to sharpen blades. Um, I'm not going to get in that today, but uh, I'll just go over it briefly. You just you want to take off from the top. And then you want to make sure they're all weighted the same, right? So it's not wobbling. Take a little bit off this side. You're going to take a little bit off that side, okay? Same thing with all three of them. Make sure they're weighted uh, the same so they're balanced, all right? So let's go on to the fourth thing. Fourth thing is underneath of your deck. For some reason, the bad boy rogue mower does not have a cleaning port. Um, I know on a lot of... A lot of mowers, you're going to have a port right here where you can plug a hose up to and just go ahead and rinse the underneath of this out. 
this does not have it and that's one con if i was going to say a con that i really don't like i think that's a great uh mechanism i used to do it all the time with the john deere 1025 r mower deck i do have a video out there on that deck and how that is and how easy and hard it is you can check out that video i'll post it up here um but there is a difference right i don't really like that too well because one of the main things is you have to make sure underneath is cleaned out sometimes you're gonna get grass that gets clogged up in there you're gonna have to scrape that off so you're gonna have to raise this up scrape that off every time and make sure it's clean if it's not clean you're not going to get the proper suction um, that the mower is supposed to have when cutting which in turn what if you're not getting it sucked up it's not cutting it off properly it's still laying down and once you go over it pops back up you're not cutting all of the grass accordingly right and then final thing is your front um, adjustments so from the stock from the factory you're gonna have adjustments you're gonna have pins in, in your front um, front here for your wheels the inner on the right side the inner hole is going to be factory for your 61 inch deck outside hole will be factory for a 72 inch deck this one was set proper on the outside now if you're still having cut qualities mainly on your left side okay on this side here there are two notches two holes the inside hole is where it's set for factory the outside hole you can then adjust it to the outside if you're still having cut qualities where it might be um maybe you're having a high kind of like line going on adjust that to the outside and that should fix it or it could be you're just not paying attention and you're you're going outside of your deck all right um, but if you're doing the proper thing you're mowing at the right uh, overlap check this adjustment here and that could fix your issue one other thing I forgot to mention and I truly apologize because we didn't have this issue but I want to throw it out there in case somebody does make sure your deck is level if it is not level or pitched the correct way you're going to have cut quality issues. So you want to make sure it's on a level surface and level your deck according to the manual. And it will pitch just a hair forward so it has the proper discharging abilities. Okay, So make sure that you do have it leveled as well and pitched accordingly. So once again, we're going to recap all of this real fast. But it will help you, and it is imperative for your cutting quality to make sure all this is taken care of. So one thing again, let's, let's refresh. Your tire pressure, make sure it's at the proper tire pressure. Your belt tension, make sure your tension on your belt is appropriate, not too loose and not too tight. You want to make sure that the underneath of your mower deck is clean and free of debris. That way it has proper suction. You want to make sure that you have sharp blades um, if they're not brand new make sure they don't have too many dings go go the extra mile have a, an extra set a replacement set that you can just swap in and out sharpen the other ones that way you always have a good fresh sharp set of blades on your mower and then finally the adjustments on your wheels here in the front um, make sure they're set the proper way once again the outside on the right side is going to be for a 72 inch deck the inside hole will be for a 61 inch deck if you're having issues of your over, maybe your your overlap is good and you're still having cut qualities on the left side you can adjust this one here to the outside hole the outside hole will then help you um, cut all that taken care of so once again I just wanted to touch base with you and let you know that we did figure it out we do have much better cut quality, and this bad boy mower is freaking killing it again. So it's a beast. Um, we had a couple issues. If your blades aren't spinning, you're not cutting, and we experienced that. So let me take you around and show you the cut quality now um, that we fixed it, and you're going to see quite a difference. So let's show you. All right, so let's go right on through here. Once again, this is one... Passover 
and the grass before we cut it was probably I would say six to eight inches so we did let it grow a little bit again and look at the difference look how beautiful these stripes are um, it did a phenomenal job it is amazing what a piece of equipment can do when it is set up properly and you have the right um, settings going on um, look down through here you can just see how perfect this cut there is no issues nothing standing up perfectly even across the board no stragglers and I have to say that is one fine looking finish anybody says that the bad boy rogue can't cut compared to maybe a skag or a hustler or some of the other brands out there well i'm here to prove it wrong because look at this all right guys just wanted to show you that hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time here on hill creek outdoors we'll see you